In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can record audio, or more specifically your DJ mix, into Ableton Live. So let's start by going into our preferences and selecting our sound card and our input. So you can see here under the audio tab that we have the audio input device. Right now it's set to no device, which means that Ableton is not using any input. We're going to change this to our sound card, which is the Audio 8 DJ. And you can see that now we have the input configuration option available to us. We're going to click on that. And you can see now that I'm presented with eight different options. The Audio 8 DJ has four stereo pairs. And I can either choose them as stereo pairs on the right here or as mono pairs on the left. Because I'm only using one input and I want it to be stereo, you can see that I've selected five and six as the one input that I have available to use. So I'm gonna click OK and then I'm going to exit the preferences. When you're recording in the arrangement mode, you want to make sure that you have the input and output selection available to be viewed at all times. That's this IO button right here. And you can see that this pane pops up. You also want to make sure that you have your mixer selection available, which is this M button here. And you're going to click that and you can see that this pane pops up as well. The first thing that you're going to do is on your first track, you want to make sure that for your input selection, you have external in, that'll be your sound card, and that you have the correct input selected right underneath it. You can see here that I have five and six. If I had multiple inputs selected in my preferences, I'd be able to choose more than just five and six. Also, I've set the monitoring to off. That means that while I'm recording, Ableton isn't going to be playing back the audio as it records. And finally, you can see that I have recording turned on. So to start recording, you're simply going to click the record button on the track to arm it for recording. We're going to click the global recording button in Ableton up here at the top and then you're going to simply press play and you'll see that after my countdown is done it will start recording your mix. During your mix you may actually want to switch back and forth between the session and arrangement view a couple times and this is to see the peak VU meter. Now if you have your monitor set to auto or in and you play your track you'll see that the VU meter is green on both the track and the master volume meter. If you, you can actually expand the space given to the VU meter by hovering over this line here and dragging up. And you'll see that, that you have a number here. This is the loudest point that you've gotten during your recording. You can see here that I have minus 3.9 and you can reset that by simply clicking on it for the master section or the individual track. I usually try and keep mine around minus four or minus three because that gives me enough headroom in case I bring in a track that's a little bit louder or there's a effect that increases the volume of my track.